Like, I have a 10 foot pole and I will stab you with it if you try to come close to me. If everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my February TBR for 2022. If you are new to this channel then you don't know but my mom actually picks my TBR every single month and it's her fun little way of being a part of my channel. And she always has a little theme that she chooses when picking the books. So this month's theme is what's in a name and it's basically just titles of books with names in it. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book she chose is Unraveling Oliver by Liz Nungit. I'm very excited about this because Liz Nungit wrote Lying in Wait, which was one of my favorite books in like 2018 when I read it. This one follows a man named Oliver who seems to have the perfect wife, the perfect life but then one night after his wife cooks him dinner he ends up brutally attacking her and killing her and everybody is kind of psychoanalyzing why he did that since his life seems so perfect and it's diving into his past and the trauma that he has and I just think that it's gonna be really good because like I said I really enjoyed Liz Nungan's other book so I'm hoping that this is also gonna be right up my alley but I'm really excited for this one. Next up she chose Forgetting August by J.L. Berg. This follows a woman named Named Everly who has recently gotten out of a very abusive relationship with a man named August. She believes that she's moved on. She's about to marry another man. She thinks she's passed all of this abuse because August is in a coma but now he's woken up and so she's convinced that he is on the hunt for her. When August woke up from his coma he has no memory of his past or anything that happened to him but then he finds a picture of Everly and he decides that he is going to go searching for her in order to discover his past history. So when he finds Everly, she's a little bit hesitant to talk to him because of everything that he did to her in the past, but she quickly realizes that this is the August that she fell in love with, and the more that she explains what he's done to her, the more he is determined to be the man that she deserves, and it's like their love story and her learning to trust him again and him trying to be a good man. I'm definitely intrigued by this but if I was Everly like I would be like don't come near me like I have a 10 foot pole and I will stab you with it if you try to come close to me especially if he was so abusive as the way that this book is like portraying it so I'm definitely like interested to see how the story is going to play out but this is a new adult romance so I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of like steamy scenes so I'm definitely ready for it because you know February is the month of steaminess Valentine's Day time for some loving you know the next book she chose is Midnight Jewel by Rochelle Mead. This is the second book in the Glittering Court series. I read the Glittering Court back in like, I want to say like 2018, 2019. So like, it has been a while. I could not tell you what happened in that book but I remember enjoying it and I think there was something about mining. It was so long ago, I don't know, so I feel like I need to reread the first book or at least like go back to my wrap-up that it was included in and try to remember something or like spark notes it. Do they have spark notes for that book? I need to look it up. But I am definitely intrigued with continuing on with the series because I do remember liking it. Next up is Killing Kate by Alex Lake. This has been on my TBR many, many times. It follows a woman named Kate who's returning from like a post breakup holiday kind of thing and she returns to her hometown where a bunch of killings are taking place and she realizes that all of the victims look a lot like her so she is convinced that it is her ex-boyfriend who is committing these crimes and murders and that she's next and I'm assuming like she goes to the police and is like yo help me or she might be dumb and just like try to solve the case herself who knows we're gonna see when we pick it up but like I said this has been on my shelf for so long now so will this be the month I actually pick it up? Stay tuned to see because we never know with me. Next up is Alex and Eliza by Melissa Dela Cruz. This is a love story between Alexander Hamilton and Eliza Schuyler from the Hamilton musical. I don't really think there's much I need to say about this. This was super super popular when it first came out and when Hamilton like blew up everybody was reading this series. I clearly bought the first book, but I never picked it up. I feel like in Canada, Hamilton didn't blow up as much as it did in America. So like, it was a very long time before I actually watched the play on Disney Plus and like actually like 
knew the story so I never really felt the need to pick this up I think I found it in a thrift store for like two dollars and was like eh, everybody's talking about it might as well pick it up kind of thing next up I have the Christie affair by Nina de Gramont this is actually an arc that the publisher sent to me I have been meaning to pick it up for a while it comes out February 2022 so I think I got it back in like I want to say December so like it's been on my TBR cart for a while so we're gonna read it I have it on audiobook it's it's about the disappearance of Agatha Christie and like the husband's mistress being part of that or something like that. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I do not know my history. I do think it sounds cool. I do like mystery thrillers. That's like my shit. So I am intrigued. Have not heard anybody talk about this really because it's not released yet. So I'm hoping I like it. And then the final book that she chose is Zach and Mia. This is by AJ Betts. This, again, is another one that has been on my TBR 60,000 trillion times, and I just never actually pick it up. But this is about two teenagers who are complete opposite. Like, they would not hang out in high school if it were up to them. But then they both get cancer. They're both in the hospital together. They fall in love. And then they're both cured, and they have to return to high school. And it's like, will they hang out? Will they not? Are they still in love? Or will social constructs ruin that for them we'll find out in the book but yeah I just have not ever actually picked it up but like I said been on my TBR for so long now. Alright everybody, so those were the books that my mom picked this month for my TBR. We're gonna read at least two of them. That's my goal for this month. It's happening. We're gonna do it. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought of them, and which two you think I should actually pick up because knowing me, I'm not going to read any of these. So let me know which ones you guys think, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!